Last video on composite functions, as this is part five, make sure you've seen the previous four parts. Um, and also make sure to, to send me a message if you have a particular problem you want uh, me to help you with, okay? Because I'm, I'm really more than um, happy to help you. Let's say I have the function h, x, I don't know why I take my bad pen, h, x, and uh, what shall we do? 3x plus 2. Now they can also then ask me, well, what is h, h, x? Yeah. Well, that's nothing to be scared of. So far, all the time, they gave me two functions, yeah, and I found a composite function. Now they give me one function, but they want me to evaluate h for the function h. Does that make sense? Let's just see what that translates to when I start doing the maths. So h, I'm going to plug in the function into the function. So for x, I'm going to put in 3x plus 2. Yeah, so 3 times x becomes 3 times 3x plus 2, plus 2. Okay, I expand those brackets, yeah, 3 times 3x, 9x, 3 times 2, that's 6, plus 2. So those are 9x's and 8. So the composite function h, h, x, I put the function of h, in a function h, 4x, yeah, so 3x plus 2, so 3 times 3x plus 2 plus 2, you work it out, you expand those brackets, you combine like terms, the answer is 9x uh, plus 8. Now, if you really want to go crazy, you can even do it like this, uh, let's say fx equals, uh, let's do it a little bit easy, x plus 2, they could ask me, what is f, f, fx? Which means, put this one in F and the answer of that in F again. So let me have a look, uh, I'll do it once, F x plus 2, yeah, so I'm going to put x plus 2 for x, that's going to be x plus 2 plus 2, yeah, which is x plus 4. And then I have to then substitute in the function F again, so F x plus 4, which is going to be x, so x plus 4, plus 2, the answer will be x plus 6. All right, those were composite functions. I hope that was useful. Otherwise, check my website, mouse for more information, or you send me a message. All right, have a good evening.